Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Ace and I've got some more Torchlight 2 commentary here for you. Some Ember Mage gameplay right now and as you can see I am joined by two other people. One of them is also an Ember Mage and the other one is a Outlander. Using wands in fact instead of guns so that only proves that you can use any weapon to a very good potential. Regardless of class and spec, depending on how you spec, of course, for certain abilities. But that's not what this video is about. This video, of course, is about the Ember Mage and the gameplay that comes with it. And I have spec mostly into AoE abilities, as you can see. My favorite one being a Blazing Pillar, as you can see right here, which basically they chase the enemy and do quite a nice amount of burning damage. As well as Hailstorm, which has a... It's a, it's a very, very big AoE and has a chance to stun and freeze and all kinds of good stuff. And it's very spammable and this is why I like it and this is also why I have most of my skill points in that specific ability. And I actually really enjoyed playing Ember Mage. I don't usually like playing ranged characters, especially not magic characters because I find magic to be overpowered or too strong in most cases. Uh, in most games that I play, mages are basically the glass cannons. While I'm personally more of a berserker type, I, d I just like to go in, don't have to really think, and do massive amounts of crazy epic stuff and enjoy while I'm still alive before I, for um, yeah, well, before I die, of course, because dying is inconvenient, especially in this game. If you are really into the moment, because it takes a lot of money to get back in, especially when you constantly have to go and you know respawn yourself at the entrance. Because it does take quite a bit of money, and being a very squishy character like my Ember Mage here, it does happen quite often that I find myself dying a lot, and then in the heat of battle trying to get back in and then make mistakes, and then I get this chain reaction of dying a lot. Which is weird though, I I'm not absolutely not a... There you go, I just died because of a very powerful attack that I've been very bad at avoiding. Because it's really very annoying to spot, especially when you have one of my favorite AoEs as well, on top of the other AoEs, which is the Lightning Sphere in the middle. Which basically attacks everybody around him, which is quite decent to cut people off, or just to uh, basically bring them down a little bit before you can finish them off. And, like I was saying, my Ember Mage is absolutely not squishy. If you want somebody that's squishy, look at the Outlander, uh, she is level 21. And she has not spent a single point in fatality, so you can only imagine how squishy that is. But I actually made sure that I spent at least one point in every single... Uh, well, at least in every single time I spent a point in fatality to keep my health growing and keep it on top with the enemies that surround me. Because this spider is able to actually one-hit kill you if you don't watch out, and including me. And I spent at least two points every single time I level up in a fatality. And... It's 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 actually rather weird. This is a lead, by the way, so it, it does make sense that a lot of things kill you a little bit easier than they do on veteran, and especially with my playstyle, which is to go in and try to kill as much as you can before you die. It, it does seem to be very difficult to actually not die all the time. So this is also why I play a very very tough Ember Mage, and this is also why I have a lot of AOE attacks, especially with uh, most of the boss fights having a lot of ads as well. But let me know what you guys think about the Ember Mage. Uh, do you have a specific favorite spell? My favorite spell is, uh, for example, the Hailstorm. Love the stun, love the freeze effect on it as well. As well as the blink effect, which I really dig. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you guys want to see more of the Torchlight 2 beta before it ends. And otherwise, you can expect a playthrough when it goes live. And I will catch you guys next time. See ya.